Political leaders continue to send their condolences following the death of Inkata Freedom Party founder Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. Now he leaves behind a complex legacy with many praising his leadership and others calling him a leader with double standards and an apartheid collaborator. To reflect further on uh, Butelezi's political contribution over the past few decades, we're joined now by ACDP leader Mr. Kenneth Mishwe. Thank you very much uh, for your time uh, this uh, afternoon, uh, Mr. Mishwe. Uh, and maybe let's start with your personal views on the politics of uh, Prince Mongosuti Butelezi um, and the agenda that he drove uh, during his time as the leader of the IFP. Well, good afternoon to you, Rofue, and uh, all your viewers. Um, from what I'm hearing and reading of late in particular, uh, his legacy is mixed with uh, good reports and also not so good reports. Like uh, today's City Press, what uh, Mondly has written there is very hard hitting and uh, can, I cannot confirm or deny that what is being said there is not. But obviously I will speak about my engagements with him, uh, particularly after 1994. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you know, uh, Rufio, I was not involved in active politics um, before 93. So my dealings with him during the period that is in dispute in the eight, 70s and 80s, I was far from politics. I did not want to be involved. So my knowledge of him and interaction with him is much more limited than the journalists. Um, those journalists that are much older than you have more stories, I'm sure, to tell us about him. But my interaction with him has been very positive. What I've been hearing about him from both ANC, non-ANC members, IFP, non-IFP members have been a mixed bag because some are speaking highly of what he has done and some are not so complimentary when they speak about him. Mm. Mr. Mishra, what do you say about his politics around the role of traditional leadership uh, within the different arms of government um, and there being um, a contribution by them when it comes to decision making uh, in the country? Um, is that something that you find particularly important and significant or is it something that, uh, like others have disagreed, was just a way in which to enrich the IFP's standing uh, in government? Government even further rather than a focus on traditional uh, leadership in its entirety? From the traditional leaders I've heard, and they are all speaking very positive about him, how he stepped in even when they had problems, when they did not know how to handle situations, they would always turn to him and he would give them guidance. I mean, late, 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 yesterday I heard even from a man uh, from Manda Mandela, who is a, a chief in the Eastern Cape, um, he spoke very, very highly of him. So I've heard people from the Eastern Cape, from Limpopo, speaking about how he has been helpful in preserving cultures. Some even said not just the Zulu culture, but all cultures. I know that there are people who don't like the cultures, who think we have to move away from culture, but I, for one, still believe cultural values are still important in society. And I think South Africa has many serious problems, particularly with young people who are into drugs and all these things, because we have moved away even from cultural values. So personally, I think he contributed a lot when it comes to cultures, preserving cultures, protecting cultures. And I think that is something that has to be he has to be commended for. No, thank you very much for those insights. That is ACDP leader uh, Kenneth Mishwe joining us to reflect uh, on his uh, political engagements with uh, the fallen leader of the IFP, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi.